Safety at the State Fair, it's something both Ohio inspectors and ride owners are teaming up on. This comes as Ohio makes what the Department of Agriculture calls dramatic improvements in the quality and safety of rides in the state. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. In 2017, a man was flung from a ride at the Ohio State Fair and was killed. And now a law named for him, Tyler's Law, is making sure ride safety is a top priority. NBC4's Isabel Cleary is at the Ohio State Fairgrounds. Isabel, what is the Department of Agriculture telling us ahead of opening day? Jennifer, Jared, the Ohio Department of Agriculture tells me that as of this afternoon, they have not found any red flags with the rides. These rides will continue to be expected, inspected throughout the fair. Those inspections are done by two groups here at the fair. We collaborate with the Ohio State inspectors and also bring our own third party inspector. They work together to make sure many sets of eyes are on all parts of the rides every day at the fair. Our, our primary uh, issue is safety. We want to make sure these are safe for all the families and, uh, and people and kids to enjoy. As of Tuesday afternoon, both groups said there were no major issues with the rides. There may be some minor paperwork issues that need to be addressed. Um, additionally, there may be a few things like a seat may be out, but uh, uh, most of the, the vast, vast majority of the rides will be up and running. Things like seat belts or maybe some of the, the rides have tires, get a flat tire. Uh, you know, just things happen. It happens on an automobile. So those are just ongoing. That's why we continuously do daily inspections. Inspectors will look at each piece of metal, seatbelt and hook to keep those rides running. This is one of the highlights of the summer, right? C certainly safety is you know, my number one priority when we get on the rides, as well as making sure that everyone can have that same experience. Throughout the end of today and tomorrow morning, the Department of Agriculture will receive updates on the rides, but as of right now, they say that all rides are expected to be up and running for opening day. Local for you at the Ohio State Fairgrounds. I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.